Hey guys, I thought I'd do a video about the M6 macro, the tool change macro that I created for Mach 3 about, oh it's been over a year ago. Uh, I posted a couple of videos on it and I'm still getting a lot of emails and questions about uh, the tool change macro. So if you have your the OEM screen set that comes with Mach 3, you'll notice that if you go to the settings tab, there's no tool in spindle DRO and I placed mine right here right below the tool change location and so I'm getting a lot of questions on how do you add this DRO well rather than go through the process of adding this DRO what I thought I would do is just make a screen set and offer it to you for download you just need to go to your web browser and copy and paste this link in there and it will take you to Dropbox and inside this link you will see the instructions you will see the M6 tool change macro and you will see the tool in spindle dot set and that will give you the DRO that you need once you have these downloaded then you just want to go to your C drive you want to go to Mach 3 find Mach 3 and you'll see that in this folder you'll see your standard screen set and you just want to paste the one that you downloaded in here this tool in spindle dot set paste it in there and you also want to go to the folder that says macros meal and then you want to find where it says m6 start dot m1s and you want to uh, right click on this and rename it to m6 start dot or excuse me m6 start org dot m1s and and then you just want to paste the one you downloaded in this folder and that will replace the one that you just renamed that's pretty much it and then go back to Mach 3 notice we our DRO is not here but if you go up to view load screens scroll down and find the one that says tool in spindle dot set click on it open it and then go back to our nothing changed on any of the other pages from the OEM screen set uh, just the settings tab and we have our tool in spindle DRO and you can actually change it and hit enter now for your macro you can go up to operator visual basic script editor VB script editor you can open the file that you just put in there which is m6 start dot m1s and you will see the tool change macro so let's go through the tool change macro here just to kind of show you what's going on. So if it has this apostrophe in front of the line, then that means that the line is just going to look at it. It's going to it's just for information only. It doesn't it's not part of the code. And so the first line says tool chain macro for manual tool change. Uh, and then <clears throat> old tool equals get OEM DRO 1224 that is the tool in spindle DRO that I've added so it's going to get that and then these lines right here these next three lines I have taken out as you can see they turned green uh, if I take this exclamation point out 
then it turns black. I put it back in it turns green again that just means that it's not looking at that but I left them in there because you may use this if you have a big work area and maybe a router or something and you've got like a 4 by 8 work work area then you may want this and basically what this does is just moves it just gets the tool change position from where you started so it gets the OEM DRO for X Y and Z and then at the end it's going to move everything back to X, Y, and Z. Uh, for, the mock, for the X2 mil I found that it's not necessary. What I do is I just lift Z up out of the way for clearance. I change the tool and I move it back down to the work height. So the first thing we do is we get our tool in spindle DRO. We look and see what tools in there. Then we do a G53 move, which is in machine coordinates, to Z minus 0.25 inches. So this is a quarter inch down from my Z0, which is basically all the way up. And then it's going to wait while it's moving. And then it's going to get the selected tool from the G code. and it's going to enter that as the new tool and then it's going to set uh, current tool to the new tool and it's going to put it into the spindle DRO it's going to get the G43 it's going to get the two tool offsets from the tool table and then you're going to get a dialog box that's going to tell you to enter that tool and then you're going to click OK and then it's going to put a message down here it's going to put a message into the status line it's going to put a message down here that says tool number X has been installed and waiting for Z to move so let's go through it we can step through it one line at a time and just see what's going on. So we've got the old tool and then we step down to the next line. And if you move your cursor over to the name it'll give you the old tool. So it looked at the DRO that I had put number two in and it says number two's in there. It's going to get the, it's going to move the Z now. Let me see if I can minimize this. And maybe you can see some of this going on. Okay, here we go. So the tool in there now is 1. And let me see. Well, let's see if I can make this a little smaller. So it's going to move Z. So watch the Z. Then it's going to get the tool to be changed to here which is tool number one it's going to put the new tool now it's going to change the DRO right here to number one let me go back to the screen S still says two when we step through the next line it changes it to one okay changes it to one and then you can see here it says one also and then go back to the programs tab and then it's going to give us uh, our dialog box here it's going to set our offsets for our DROs and all this tells it to pop up a message and it does please insert tool number one which is our index tool 
once you insert it you click OK and then step through it line by line again it's going to put the message down here below and that's pretty much it so let's see what happens in uh, real time here let's type in tool number five hit enter okay and we'll go to the let's go to the media line and we'll do a T6M6 so we're going to change to tool number six so we moved our DRO inserted tool number six and we move back down to 0.25 inches above the surface so we can change to tool number five it says insert tool number five click OK down here at the bottom it tells you while it's moving it tells you that you put that tool in if you'll see tool number five is in the spindle so that's pretty much it um, that's how you uh, use the tool change macro so go to the Dropbox links that in the description above pick up your screen set for your tool in spindle uh, along with your M6 tool change macro and uh, if you have any questions or comments please feel free uh, thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking on the link below have a great day and most importantly be safe